When you think about cutting-edge energy research, you probably don't think about a flour mill. But that's exactly what's happening at Weisenberger Mill in Midway, Kentucky. The mill was started in 1865 by my great-great-great-grandfather, who immigrated here from Baden, Germany. And then he purchased a mill right here in this very location. And then in 1910 or 12, his son tore that mill down because it developed a crack in the side. And they ground up the stones to make the concrete to build this mill that's here today. It was built in 1913. So the mill's kind of been passed down from generation to generation, and we still use a lot of the same equipment. I have five employees plus myself, and we all work together five, five and a half days a week and keep all the products going out the door. Well, what we do here is we buy corn and wheat from local farmers here in the area, and then we make flour and cornmeal baking mixes and grits from those products. I guess we're a, a beneficiary of the local food movement in some ways. We've always been local and local food has become very popular and most of our business is food service customers and we'll sell that and it goes to restaurants and schools and other institutions like that but then there is retail lines that you can buy in grocery stores as well. Grits are really popular, all the baking mixes but the, you know, the basic flour and cornmeal have always been a mainstay of what we do here. We've always had turbines here and that was built in with the mill in 1913. And that's all they had to operate at that time is the water power. So the, the turbines were there and we ran the turbines up till the mid late 80s, just on the line shaft, just belt to pulley, belt to pulley to help the electric motors at that time. Dave has worked with us before in the past. Uh, you know, back when I was a young kid, he helped refurbished this generator here in the mid-1980s and then came to us with the, this project to improve this generator and be a little test site and to get UK involved to help us out was a great benefit for us. With help from Shaker Landing Hydro Associates and the Center for Applied Energy Research at UK, the Weisenberger Mill received a Department of Energy grant to install the first variable speed generator in a hydroelectric plant in the U.S. So we had the Weisenberger Mill. We had my company, which is Shaker Landing Hydro Associates. We had Potencia Industrial, which is the company that made the new variable speed generating system that we installed. And then our other partner was Kentucky Utilities. And they were able to put in a metering system to take independent data. And that's where the Center for Applied Energy Research came in because we wanted a particular organization that had the experience and research that could take the before and after data, process it, and come up with valid answers to the question of, is this more efficient? How much more efficient is it? They were valid results because of the researchers over there. The credibility is what the Center for Applied Energy Research really gave this project. And that way a conventional hydro plant works is you've got a dam, and a dam backs up water, and then you've got two pools of water one at a high elevation and one at a low elevation. And what you're doing is you're giving a pathway for the water to get from the high point to the low point, and it goes through a turbine. We can change the speed of the turbine and always keep it at an optimum level. So what we're doing is we're creating variable frequency AC power. We take it into the inverter, convert it into DC power, then the inverter then converts it back to 60 cycle AC power, which goes into the electric grid. The experiment actually worked much better than we expected. We were expecting to get uh, 10 to 15% more power out of it, and we're actually getting 96% more power out of it. We will be getting them to start using this 24 hours a day, and they should end up making two to three times more power than they can use right here in the mill. If we don't use electricity, it goes into the grid and, I get, and we get credit for it when we do use it back. So it's, that's been a real plus for us. You have water here that is totally clean energy. From when the mill was built, that's how it was powered. And to harness that water power to generate electricity to help us run operations here now, 150 years later, is a great opportunity and makes a lot of sense.